Hi guys, it's Mrs. Southern and today's project isn't a directed drawing. We're going to be doing something that's a bit of an experiment using light and shadows. So what you'll need is something to draw on. You'll need some sort of light source. I have um, a little light. You can use a flashlight. You can use a lamp. You can also do this outside if it's sunny. And you need some little things to make shadows with. So I'm going to use my son's Roblox toys because they come in really cool sorts of shapes. And they're pretty fun, um, I think, to draw. So you can use any of your toys. You can use plants. You can use anything really for this project. Um, it's really an experiment, so you're just going to practice sort of um, creating cool um, lines and shapes with your little toys or whatever you're using with their shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to have my paper here, and then I'm going to take one of my little toys, and now uh, he can see his shadow, and I'm going to put his somewhere where I think I like how it looks and you can see how the light is pointing at him it's making his antlers which are awesome really big and so then I'm going to use a um, marker you can use a pencil or whatever you have to draw with and I'm going to um, trace his shadow. Now I don't have him on the paper that way hopefully I won't knock him over when I'm trying to do this and um, because I'm also trying to do this while holding my camera but if you have both your hands to do this with that really works out good. So I'm going to trace around his shadow just like this. This is really neat to do and um, you could like sort of build little scenes and um, with like blocks and things like make a city you could trace out a city using blocks lots of cool things that you could do for this project but this is a fun thing to do especially if you're stuck inside because it's like raining or something which is what it's getting ready to do i think outside or has been it's been really um uh, cloudy today. So there's my first guy and that's a shadow I got. I got another dude here that I'm going to put him, place him somewhere else and you can move your paper around to get him right wherever you want to a little bit in a different spot, kind of make a cool sort of composition. Um, to your art, you can have them overlapping, which is what I'm going to do here. Overlap his wings. Oops, can't see what I'm doing. Sorry, guys. Okay, and you can keep doing that until you like your artwork that you have. You could turn your paper around. And you could have things go in different directions, which would be really cool too. This guy has got really big, giant wings. Oh, that looks neat. That looks cool. So then I'm going to trace out him. Just doing a shadow. And you're not really trying to make that exact same shape that your toy is. You're not trying to like draw a picture of your toy or your plant or whatever it is that you are using for this. You're using this more like as um, a tool to create cool shapes for your art. Don't forget to do those little, if there's little spaces where the light comes through, if you can trace those out, that would be really cool too. Like that. All right. And I think I like how that looks. So then you can draw and color it in with pencils, markers, crayons. You could paint it, especially if you use like a Sharpie. You could paint um, your picture with this. 
I have already done one earlier that I drew of two of those little guys and this is what I made my art look look, look like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it um, give it a chance to try it out and um, be really creative because I know you guys are. Um, thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye.